All right, Sunday night football this week. It's the Shanahan Bowl. The 49ers going to the Denver Broncos. Yes, I say that because, yes, Kyle Shanahan, his dad was the greatest coach in Denver Broncos history and won two Super Bowls there. So I got to think he's got a little interest in this one. Plus, there's the Jimmy G aspect right there. Yes, there's no Trey Lance. It's Jimmy G. The pressure's off. They're back to the guy that's brought them to the Super Bowl, brought them to the NFC Championship game. And I got to think that's going to give a little juice to this 49ers football team. This is where I want to go inside the numbers, powered by AWS, all right? Jimmy G is back. And the thing that you know with Jimmy G, they operate a different way. We know Shanahan's really creative with the run game. And then Jimmy G likes to live over the middle of the field in the passing game. And Shanahan gives him a lot of options in that area. So here you go, percentage, percentage of passes between the numbers since 2017. Jimmy G leads the NFL. 58% of his passes are between the numbers. You see Big Ben at 51, Rivers 51, Cam Newton, Lamar Jackson, all that. And Jimmy G, 74% completion percentage and 103 quarterback rating when he throws the ball down the middle. He's very good that way. Shanahan knows how to tie the run game off of it. And here you see right here, we got a set where Shanahan's going to have receivers kind of going all different places here. And the thing that I like about the play in general, you got Debo Samuel in the backfield, shows the creativity once in a while here. But the point is that I really want to show where I think they have an advantage over when Trey Lance was the quarterback is Jimmy G's, hey, he's played a lot of football. This is not an indictment on Trey Lance. He's young, he's raw, he was learning. But Jimmy G knows how to read defenses. He understands the offense at this point, like the back of his hand. And he knows where to go with the football. And you could see this on this play where he goes through his reads and he's eventually going to get a nice completion. All right, so let's look at the next shot here. All right, you see Jimmy G. Look at him here. Good pass protection, right? All right, and you can't see quite yet here, but we're going to have Brandon Ayuk coming into the screen on this side of the ball. And you can see Jimmy at first kind of got the ball cocked like he might throw the football. He doesn't like it. He sees the underneath coverage here. He knows it's a little dicey. And then as the play goes on, he's going to look at Jennings going this way across the field for his second read. But as you can see here from this as well, they got kind of have him doubled. All right, Seattle's done a nice job there. But this is to me where he gives them an advantage over Trey Lance right now because Jimmy goes one to two and then he knows wait I got this guy who is a just phenomenal football player as my number three read his name is Debo Samuel and so he looks downfield he stresses the defense out that way goes through the read finds Debo Samuel underneath with a nice pass even though I know it's not down the field or sexy or anything like that but effective and that allows Debo Samuel to make, a, a, make some yards after the catch. Okay, let's look at the final result. Here we go, the last shot, right? We saw Jimmy went to Ayuk. Trust me, this is after he was covered here. He was not there when Jimmy G wanted to throw the football. You see Jennings with the bodies there. It doesn't work. Okay, well, he recognizes, wait, something's not right. There's a voided area right here with my man Debo Samuel coming out of the backfield. He gets him the football, and then Debo arguably the best in football, along with Tyreek Hill, uh, Jamar Chase in Cincinnati as far as yards after the catch. When he gets the ball in his hands, he's like an explosive running back. He's going to get up here through trash and end up basically getting a 15-yard gain. But this is the thing that excites me about the 49ers. They're one of the best teams in football. Their roster is phenomenal. We know they're creative running the football. Their defense is amazing. And now I think they're going to have a little bit more of a consistent play at quarterback and a quarterback that knows how to get the ball into the hands of a healthy Kittle or Debo Samuel or whatever and spread it around to Brandon Ayuk, and that's when the 49ers become dangerous. Watch it. Sunday night football, right? 49ers at Broncos should be a good one. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.